The Eastern Sierra News, brought to you by the T-Bar Social Club, June Lake's newest gathering place, offering June pie, New York-style pizza, and year-round entertainment with a warm, welcoming atmosphere. See you in the loop. Deb Murphy filed this developing story on human remains found on Mount Williamson. The Inyo County Coroner's Office is in the process of identifying the remains of a hiker recovered from Mount Williamson last Wednesday, October 16th. Two hikers found the remains October 7th near the far side of the Williamson Bowl, above the Sixth Lake. According to a press release issued by the department, high winds delayed the recovery. The California Highway Patrol Inland Division Air Operations transported the remains to the Lone Pine Airport. The only other clues to identify the body included disintegrating shoes and remnants of a belt. The story was picked up by the New York Times. The hikers, Brandon Fallen and Tyler Hoffer, discovered a bleached skull under boulders roughly three hours from the summit, 12 miles into the ascent, according to the article. Fallen stated, the way the body was laid out, it was lounging as if someone buried the hiker after he or she died. However, the sheriff's public information officer, Karma Roper, indicated there was no evidence to suggest foul play at the scene. The section of the ascent where the skeleton was found is particularly tricky according to Tin Le Trung with Elevation Sierra Adventure Essentials. Imagine a bunch of sharp boulders that you have to hop between. Trung was quoted in the article. Roper told the Times investigators reviewed the list of missing persons in the area going back decades, but nothing matched up with the specific location. If the DNA doesn't match up with a missing persons database, Roper said the department would use forensic genealogy, a technique that uses cousins in genealogy databases to identify the remains. Riding a school bus is the safest way for children to travel to and from school. Join the California Highway Patrol in observing National School Bus Safety Week, October 21st to 25th this week, to increase awareness about school bus safety to motorists, parents, teachers, and students. The CHP's oversight of school bus safety and enforcement is something they take very seriously, CHP Commissioner Warren Stanley said. Please do your part and join the Highway Patrol in our efforts to help keep children safe by being alert when approaching school buses and bus stops. School bus safety is a high priority for the CHP, which launched the Vehicles Illegally Passing a School Bus VIPS, enforcement project in 2017. During VIPS enforcement operations, CHP officers ride on school buses and patrol bus routes, watching for vehicles that do not stop for flashing red school bus lights. The, the VIPS project also encourages people to report drivers who illegally pass a school bus. Since the implementation, more than 150 statewide school zone safety operations have been conducted, resulting in nearly 1,200 citations being issued, according to the National Highway Safety Traffic Safety Administration. Students are about 70 times more likely to get to school safely when taking a bus instead of traveling by car. School buses are the most regulated vehicles on the road, designed to be safer than passenger vehicles. The flashing red lights and stop sign arms are crucial features. More than 50,000 certified school bus drivers transport more than 1 million students each year in California, traveling approximately 243.5 million miles. To help ensure the safety of the state students, the CHP inspects more than 20,000 school buses each year. California has not had a pupil passenger fatality since 1995. Well, the fourth annual Eastern Sierra History Conference is this weekend, October 25th, 26th, and 27th. This enriching conference focuses on the people, places, and events that make the Eastern Sierra what it is today. Speakers include Char Miller, PhD, Pomona College, Joseph Lent, Bridgeport Indian Calling, and our own David Woodruff, who narrates tales along El Camino Sierra here at Alt 92.5. To register and view the program schedule, please visit isiaonline.org or phone 760-872-1220. Make plans to attend a great fundraiser presented by the Rotary Clubs of Bishop to end polio now. Astorga's Saturday, October 26th from 5 to 9 p.m. Enjoy dinner with 20% of proceeds for Rotary's Fight Against Polio. Plus, enter the raffle for an opportunity to win a Traeger barbecue donated by Manor True Value Hardware. Need more info? 
please call Diet at 760-937-5563. Well, I'm hearing it's going to be a fun night in Mammoth on Friday with Halloween Party and Haunted Roller Rink 5 to 8 p.m., only $5. Please go to mammothrexzone.com or call 760-965-7690. I'm also getting word on a fun event Saturday at the Bishop Park about everyone will be dancing the thrill routine from Michael Jackson. We'll be back with a weather report.